Hello, hello, boys and girls. This is Undersealed, of course, and welcome to another episode of the Minecraft server. Isn't this just the most beautiful sight you can ever see? The sun rising over Viking country. I gotta say, I'm really happy with, with how shit is going. Oh, what the hell? Creeper on my roof. No, I don't got any arrows, do I? Nope. Throw some eggs on him. That's not gonna hit. Uh, over. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, I still haven't gotten my mouse yet. I'm still using the new one that I don't like. Nope, I missed. <laughs> son of a slut bag. Oh. Okay, where were I? I still have these doors left here. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, wait, I need that. Or I think I need it. I don't know. I might need it. I don't know. Yeah. There's where a crafting mess here already, so it's cool. Oh, I can't... Okay. No, oh, sound of a sludge bag. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it like this to actually get out of here. I don't want to waste one of my my pearls here right now. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna show you guys what I've done since I saw you guys the last time. I put a roof on my, on my place and I also bred a ton of more cows. <laughs> Oops, excuse my French. I'm burping some energy drink right now and some candy. Very sugary diet right now because I'm about to fall asleep. Uh, it's only actually like 10 o'clock at night here in Sweden, so it's actually not like super late. Like it, uh, like it might be sometimes where I record videos, but I am so tired. It's been so much work trying to like get the new Medal of Honor videos out and stuff like that. And also trying to make uh, Minecraft stuff happen and Battlefield stuff happen. It, Oh, son of a slut bag. I'm tired. <laughs> but I'm not too tired to make some Minecraft. So that's what we're gonna do. I really enjoy... Uh, I don't know. I, I just... I just basically put half slabs all over the place and put glass in the top and sure the glass isn't very viking-ish but I think it looks great. Uh, I'm thinking uh, extending the wall in a diag di diagonal line over right there, have another tower, cut down all the wood, uh, all the forest, have another tower over there somewhere and then actually uh, another one over there and have the wall go like so. And then one that goes up to the mountain, and this here gonna go over to the water. So I kind of like enclose my entire area to make it look really nice. Yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that didn't really make sense, did it? Oh, I think it did. Who gives a hoot? Uh, basically, we're gonna go and uh, grab uh, the stuff from Beef's place. Uh, our loot, because he left it there a few days ago. Uh, or he left it actually there uh, the last time I recorded a video. I think it's... Oh god, like... I don't even know if I'm gonna be able... I'm recording this on Thursday, but I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to re upload it tonight as well. But I'm not really sure if I, I will. I have a Battlefield video I need to upload as well. So right now I'm kind of screwed. There's been so much to do. And it takes such a long time to render and edit and upload videos. It's freaking crazy. Uh, and also, I've already uploaded two other videos today. So uh, one Dishonored and one Medal of Honor. And uploading four videos on a Thursday might be a bit too much. So I might save I might save the battlefield video and upload this tonight. Uh, it's still gonna be kind of late. Let's see. It's now 2146 in Sweden. If I hurry up like crazy with the editing and re and rendering and if my internet works good, I might be able to have it up. Oh, oh, son of a oh, damn it! I waste a ton of ender pearls instead of eating. I can't believe that didn't kill me though. That's so weird. My armor is kind of taking damage too. Oh my dear armor. But we're gonna go to beef as a place. I don't know if this is my... Oh fuck it. We're just gonna... Gonna take the bird's way. I think it's actually quicker to be honest. Cause it's so close. I'm gonna see you guys at beef's place. Oh yeah sheep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Give it to me. Oh. Give it to... Oh! 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 Hello, hello guys! I, I didn't hear you there! Oh, that's... That's awkward. Uh, I was expecting the sheep's... Wool! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> nothing fishy going on here with me and Beef's sheep. Def definitely not. What is this? Mini prank brought to you 
buy these puns. Oh, okay, it's the same stuff as the last time. I was. Oh, a Swedish flag! I, I'm gonna bet that's that's the the stuff Beefy left me. A very nice indeed. I likes it. A very nice. Oh, yes, it is. Oh no! Clever son of a bitch. He put it in the middle, so I have to break the flag. Oh, I'm gonna rebuild it. Oh, that is, looks so good. Redstone. Emerald, diamonds, gold, and lapis. That's a lot of XP right there. Actually gonna <laughs> gonna leave this this here, I think. Uh, can I put a sign? Yes. Make a sign. Make a sign, baby. Make gruber. <laughs> I claim this land oh land for sweden <laughs> uh, explanation mark ah not really what the oh look the sign oh son of a bitch the sign goes inside the wall i didn't even know that son of a slut bag that is so stupid though that is so stupid though Let's see beef has added anything to this place since i was here last time he'd been mostly building on his uh, village, I think. No, I think he. I think this is a new thing. This tower right here. Son of a bitch! This is one huge build. I, I guess I could kind of make, kind of make my my wall, kind of a build like this. I don't know, like big at least. That takes time. It's kind of nice having stuff that takes a lot of time to build. So you kind of always have something to build if you if your imagination kind of stops a little bit, but. Yeah, anyways, I'm gonna see you guys back at my place. Ah, there we go, guys. Home at last. Let's uh, pick some of this stuff and see actually how much we get. I'm also gonna repair some of the stuff I got on camera. See, ah, oh, one diamond. Ooh, I think that was four. Yeah, oh my god. Ah, oh, one, two. Yeah, eight diamonds out of four blocks. That's not too shabby. Brings me up to total 25. Oh, look at this. I got 42 blocks of emeralds. I've been trading with the villagers like crazy. Oh my gosh. Ooh, 4, 2, 1, 3, 1. Ooh, 11. Ah, that's not too bad for 5 blocks either. Uh, that's more than. That's more than twice as much. Hmm. Very nice. I'm gonna make myself another snooze here, really quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, there we go, I got the 44 levels as you, as you guys can clearly see. Uh, so let's actually pick out some of our diamonds here. I mean it's not fully broken yet, but, but it's pretty broken. Let's see, 24, not too bad actually. What does it cost to repair this awesome pick? 36. Hmm, I don't know if I want to repair it yet though, but oh, I have a hard time deciding. Son of a oh, no wait, it actually just repairs it. Hmm, it actually doesn't repair it to full. That's kind of weird, I did not know that. Huh, okay, so you have to pay quite a lot to actually repair something. Okay, but I guess this is a, as good as a time as, as any to repair it, since otherwise I'm just gonna like waste the levels. Oh, okay, yeah, that's the sword. <laughs> uh, let's use some of the... Wait, what the heck? Oh, that's efficient. I thought, like, what the hell, didn't I give beef back his, his thing at any? Uh, wait, what was it, by the way? Can I do it like this? Nope. Can I do it like that? Yes, 24. 24 do -do 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 do 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 and then break a few of these guys and save the rest of the stuff redstone in huge amounts that is not bad I thought I would do another uh, storytelling episode actually and uh, this time from my teenage years <laughs> kind of 
<laughs> because I really don't have anything cool to show that I built lately or anything like that uh, big because I haven't had time it, it takes a lot of prep and, and building time and stuff like that it, it took me fucking an hour just to like put the roof and everything on to the goddamn cow's place because it was literally like 10 stacks of off slabs god diggity damn it was a lot Okay, we're gonna reach 24 levels already there. So kind of a waste that when ah, screw it. Uh, let's repair this guy a little bit. That kind of saddens me though that it only repairs it kind of a little bit. That means that it's gonna be a pain to repair my entire... Uh, oh no, wrong. Son of a slut bag. This is where I have all the redstone now. Put the flint over there. Here we go. Not that I really have a use for it. I wish you could sell redstone to villagers. Oh god, I wish you could. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's good enough. And my... Oh, he was nice enough actually to smelt the gold. Or he was sneaky enough, depending on how you look at it. Because you get the XP from it. Sneaky son of a bitch. <laughs> no, he probably smelted it straight away when he... When he, um, he got back to his base, so that's probably why. Uh, I'm just I'm just joking guys, don't be mad at beef. He be nice guy. There we go. I also got um, small little golden thingy dingies. Uh, but I think I can have it like that and actually take the, the glowstone because I don't feel like glowstone is something important I need to have on me. Uh, definitely not. Oop. Hello, the Skeletor. How are you doing? I think you died a little bit there. Let's throw this egg. Maybe I can have an indoor chicken. Nope. I can't have an indoor chicken. <laughs> I cannot have an... Oh, wait. Let's fix this as well. I had to... No! Oh, yeah. Wait. I do got spruce. Good. Because <laughs> it looked kind of stupid. And I have a tree here instead. <laughs> I don't know why, but let's, let's put a, a seed there. Uh, oh, wait. I do have a hoe in here. Good. I'm gonna hold my way to freedom or something like that, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally not making any sense, am I? Nope, I'm not. So wait, what was I supposed to do? I was supposed to do a story time, but what was I supposed to do whilst I was doing that story time? I do not remember. Oh no, son of a bitch. Oh, yeah, no, now I remember. Wait, I was supposed to build on the freaking wall. Make it bigger. Make it last longer. At least kind of make the, the contours of it. So you guys kind of understand what I'm what I'm talking about and what we're gonna do. I'm I'm damn happy though with my with my Minecraft world now. <laughs> I mean I know I say that a lot, but I'm pretty impressed with like all the shit I've built. I mean uh, <laughs> like one of my friends actually asked me like Anish, have you really built that without cheating? Doesn't it take like for fucking ever to do that? And I was like, yeah, of course it does. I, I built it from scratch. I was like, what? Dude, that gotta be like a few hundred hours spent. And I was like, yeah, you, you gotta do that to like give your viewers like quality quality for, for their money. Not that you guys actually pay me, but, but you guys know what I mean. Like watching ads and stuff like that. You, you guys deserve, you guys deserve the, the only the best or the best I can give you, sadly. You don't get the best by watching my channel. You get the best I can give you. <laughs> but I hope that's good enough. That's what I hope. Uh, so, where were I? Oh yeah, plunk this shit in here. Uh, plunk the chicken in there. Do, 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 do. And we should place all of this stuff in here. Uh, keep that. We can plunk down another chest actually to make that a little bit bigger. I won't need the buckets. Uh, feathers should be in here. Uh, coal should be in here for trading purposes. Uh, no, wait, my fur. Where the, where the fuck did I put the food? Oh, pork chops, there we go. And just gather a ton. I'm also, of course, prepared with a ton of smooth stuff, as you can see. And a lot of glass I've gotten from training with the villagers. Ooh, here we go. Enderman. Hello there. I'm looking at you, bro. Come at me. You oh, see? I'm so fucking awesome that I, I don't even have to look at you. And I asked. Rape you. Bastard. My god, I can still hear the, the like, train sounds. 
doot doot or not doot doot but yeah <laughs> doot doot <laughs> oh son of a bitch but yeah the, the story I, I wanted to tell you guys about today is uh, is uh, one of my absolutely best friends my definitely best friend uh, as growing up uh, called Mikael or Mikke or Mike maybe you would say it in English uh, he lived uh, about oh god what, what is it maybe like 10 kilometers away from me uh, as a kid and uh, we, we started becoming friends around age I would say 10 maybe Oh, there's actually a villager. I could cure him. No, wait, I don't have the potions and apples and shit. No, screw that. Screw that, that's gonna take too long. Do you see any more endermen, by the way? We want to kill some of those guys. Because it is... it's nice. <laughs> you get nice shit from them. Get up a bit, and... No, sadly not a single enderman. Sad face, Anders. Mm. <laughs> But but he uh, basically he uh, I I was all alone actually at my little school I went to a very very small school uh, called Fyros Grundskola basically like uh, Lighthouse Ridge that that's basically the translation for it uh, from English to Swedish if you're gonna translate like straight over and his mom was actually one of the teachers there uh, and uh, She was kind of mean. I didn't really like her to be honest as a teacher uh, But it turned out that she was very very friendly and nice when you like knew her in private and you wasn't her pupil She was a total different person. I, I guess she was like kind of harsh to make sure no one of the pupils like Screwed her over because trust me that that went on a ton not not literally screwing over because that would kind of be sick since this was like not elementary school but like school where people were like maximum like 12 years old so yeah it would be very very weird <laughs> very uncomfortable <laughs> to talk about too <laughs> why do I, why do i have such a weird story why do my stories end up in such a weird place i do not know i i mean the doctor said i was completely healthy but i don't i don't know I mean, I, I, I think that the psychologist might have made a few mistakes, a few boo-boos. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's cool, Mr. Mrs. Andersen. Uh, your son is completely not mentally insane. Uh, but but I think that, as I said, they, they might have made a boo-boo. I, I think I'm a, bit, a little bit of insane. Uh, but a good kind of insane. The, not the, the chop you up with an axe insane. But anyways, yes. Uh, <laughs> I was alone in this little school, actually. Or not alone, of course not alone. But I was the only dude in my class, actually. Uh, for a very, very long time. But all of a sudden, uh, this teacher, uh, he, his mother decided that... Uh, it would be a good idea to basically uh, change him to, to the school where she taught... OH! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> what the hell? God damn it. <laughs> Fucking penis. Oh, son of a slut bag. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, damn it, my, my fucking neighbors. <laughs> oh, so god damn it. I was busy, I was telling a story, stupid penis. Why you go blow up my shit and scare my ass off? Oh, my bastard. Uh, but, but yeah. <laughs> okay. Collect yourself, Anders, and get back to the story. Ooh, fuck, it sounds like something more exploded. Okay, it's the, it's the lightning. But uh, yeah, <laughs> to get back to the to the story at the end. And uh, she, she decided that uh, that it would be best for her son to basically go, uh, go at school uh, at my place. And since we were the same age, he ended up in my class, of course. Because there, there was no more classes for people in my age. I mean, it was me and three girls in my class. I mean, you can pretty much figure out that there weren't many people going to school there I mean like from age like 6 to like 13 or something like that it were like 40 pupils so not very many <laughs> uh, but yeah she decided he, he would move school there because she thought it was a lot better because at the other big bigger school like yeah uh, like where he started out going and uh, there, there were a lot of problems with like kids smoking and using snooze and all kinds of stupid stuff because 
Smoking and snoozing is not good for you guys. Even though snoozing is less bad than, than smoking, it, it's still not good. I mean, it erodes your fucking teeth, meat, teeth, meat. That doesn't make sense either. Your, your gums and stuff like that. So, uh, it's not the, the optimal thing to do, simply. Oh, son of a bitch, I see you. You're not gonna sneak up on me too. Oh! <laughs> Tea bag. <laughs> so... Uh, uh, she decided he he would move, so we moved, uh, and I was so I was so happy, but I was also scared at the same time because I was afraid he would not like me and we would not become friends. Because trust me, when you're a dude and you you're like twelve years old and you get to hear that there's a, a actually a guy that's gonna move to the same school as you when you first only have girls in your class, I mean. I got fucking excited. I got really goddamn happy. I mean, I was like, oh my god, is this true? Am I gonna get a real dude friend? Like, no offense, girls, but I mean, when you're 13, you're you're not that interested in girls. You you wanna you wanna have pals. You wanna have dude friends. That that's kind of what you, what you wanna have. <laughs> so I was just over the moon happy about that shit. One, two, three. Yeah, that's actually correct. One, two. Three. Go this way, make the outlines of the tower stuff. So uh, when he when he moved there, so to say, uh, I, I made sure to be as nice as possible, of course. Uh, and we actually became really good friends. He turned out to be a really super nice dude uh, that 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 I spent basically my entire life uh, as, as growing up like from 12 years old to like 18 years old when he kind of moved to another city with his girlfriend and now sadly we, we don't see each other as much as we did once before so that that's kind of sad though I gotta say that but uh, I mean I had a ton of good times with him before that so I mean it's still it's it's freaking awesome okay let's see you now one two three four one two one two three Four. Oh god, this is still gonna stick out a bit, isn't it? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is gonna go down in the water a little bit. I don't think I can do anything about that. Three, four. One, two, three. Three, four. There we go. That's gonna be a nice tower right there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like I have to concentrate. Uh, I'm not one of those guys that can do two two things at once. Simply, I'm not one of those guys, gosh. Uh, but yeah, we became really good friends, and uh, we we always we almost always spent our time at his place because it was a lot more fun there. Uh, they uh, basically raced horses, and not not only like raced like grew, grew them and like had horses have sexy time and make babies uh, to the, but they also made. Did that to actually race them, a race in a race, so to say. <laughs> if, if I'm making any sense, I hope I am. Uh, and they were really good, actually. His dad was was one of Sweden's best uh, horse racers, so to say. He, he actually didn't race them himself, but he 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 basically he basically w was responsible for some very good. Uh, hestar, as we say, uh, coming into the light of day. Of course, there were like uh, jockeys who who kind of like not rode them, but the, you you trav is basically like you have a carriage behind the horse. It's it's very popular in Europe and especially in Sweden. I don't know how it is in America and stuff like that, but I, I think it's popular in America too. Anyways. Uh, so we, we, we always uh, sp so we spent as much time as he and his parents would would permit as his at his place, especially because he was one of the first people I knew that got internet, so you could play Call of Duty. Whoa, son of a bitch! Okay, I guess I'm gonna be right back, guys. There we go, guys. I am back. Server so rebooted and everything. I hope. Yeah, it seems like everything I built is still here. Great. Good work, dude. You, sir, are a master of the server. Or he's literally the master, actually, since he actually like decides everything about the server. So yeah, of course, of course, he's the master. Where were I? 
Oh yeah, we, we spent most of our time at his place, and uh, basically thanks to him, I I got to play Counter Strike and Call of Duty and also Battlefield online. Uh, before that, it was only at my uncle's place, like in this city where I live now, a, a much larger place than than where he and me grew up. Like it was really smaller. Uh, but his family, since both of his uh, uh, mom and his dad actually were teachers. It was very important that they had internet access. The school made sure they had uh, two megabit a second internet installed as quickly as possible. And back when I was 12, 13 years old, this was huge. Everyone else had 64 uh, bit dial up modem. And I mean, if you guys ever heard about 64-bit dial-up modem, I mean, that shit was slow. And it basically made a sound every time you connected to the internet, like... <laughs> like, a, like a fax machine, basically. What was freaking horrible to, to try to play on. I mean, you couldn't really play any games online with that, so with that... Uh, my abilities to be able to play Call of Duty. Ma basically, it was mostly Call of Duty, actually. I mean, you guys see my channel, it's mostly Battlefield uh, videos, it's not really any Call of Duty, but Call of Duty was, and uh, Counter Strike was the first games I actually really played uh, online uh, a lot. So, the Battlefield came actually a lot later with Battlefield 1942 Vietnam. And so, uh, I mean, that, that was that was like the heydays, so to say, like when Anders became Anders and started taking names and kicking ass in, in games like Call of Duty. And I was, I was a pretty good player already then. I mean, uh, me, me and uh, Mikael, uh, Mike, uh, we uh, we just kicked some serious butt most of the time on the surf, especially since they had a good internet. And and if you guys have any interest in FPS games, I, I know a lot of people that play Minecraft play a lot of other games too, uh, like Call of Duty and, and the Battlefield and stuff like that. You do know that ping is extremely important. It should always be as low as possible because a low ping means what? It means you're gonna be able to shoot better, see better, everything basically gets better with a low ping. I mean, even if you have a kind of crappy PC, it's better to have a kind of crappy PC with a good ping than a really good PC with a bad ping because you can basically don't do, you can't do shit with bad ping to be honest. I mean, you, you're basically screwed. Even in Minecraft, I mean, you've seen how it looks like in the ultra hardcore when, and here too, like you can see that blocks doesn't really disappear straight away because it has to check with the server first if I'm allowed to to remove the block and then it has to update that block in the server and stuff like that so oh man we had a ton of fun but the, the thing we did the most was actually shoot and fish and and also bait because they actually had a private beach uh, a, a very small beach that they made themselves with it's basically we're talking like six meters wide, basically like six yards wide, so it's it's not like they had a ton of money, basically they dumped like a ton of sand there and and that became their beach, but it, it was still very beautiful there, uh, especially during the winter, or not during the winter, but especially during the Swedish summer, you could bathe there and have a really good time. During the winter we used to ski on the lake right next to them, I didn't have a lake next to where I lived, so I couldn't do that, uh, or not ski, um, or is this called ski? Skriskor, ski, åka skriskor. I think you call it ski. Is, is it skiing when it's with, with skis? Skate, skating, ice skating. That's what it's called, I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm a stupid oh. So we, we uh, had a ton of fun, but, but the things we did the most was actually shoot seagulls with his uh, airsoft rifle and also... Uh, uh, also make homemade guns, like, out of three, not that, like, actually shot any kind of bullets. Uh, I, I did do that, though, myself, like, as a kid. Uh, I, like, loaded up, like, a copper tubing with, <laughs> with like, uh, pell pellets of lead and and uh, actually fired it a few times, but luckily, uh, or it actually blew up <laughs> after, like, three times I fired it, but luckily I was smart enough to not be in the same room when I fired it, so uh, I didn't get killed by it, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, 
our favorite thing to do was actually to to play uh, play basically with guns. So we we played with uh, uh, airsoft rifles, like uh, you know that shoots the the little small plastic BBs, and we had so much fun when we got to get those. I think I was. 14 or 15 when my parents allowed me to buy one of those and uh, me and Mike we we just we just had a fucking blast I mean where he lived and where I lived it was perfect to play those kinds of games because it wasn't like important to pick up those fucking BBs or anything like that you you basically just went for it and then shot all you wanted and, and had a great fucking time and we had a great fucking time it, it was I mean I have such so many good childhood memories. I mean, it, it's kind of hard to do like choose between like which I should tell you guys about and not. Uh, but I guess sooner or later I'm gonna maybe run out of them. But it's gonna take a while because as soon as I like remember one, I remember another one, and sometimes I don't remember any one. But I remember them later, so to say. Ooh, Pusum Pusu, Pusum Pusu. We gotta say hi to Pusum Pusu. Uh, hello. Hello, Poozin Poozy. Hello, Poozy. Let's see. I'm gonna kill this guy here. Come on, Tommy. I'm gonna kill you. Ha! Kill you good. Okay. I'm gonna keep building here. I think I'm gonna have to stop the video soon, or else it's gonna be too long for me to upload. But yeah, that that's that's basically one of the the small things I can tell you about that. We did a ton of other cool and, and dangerous and fun stuff as well, me and Mike, but, but we, we were basically like best buddies and, and I, I, I adored him uh, simply because he was like really kind of the first dude friend I ever was able to have since, uh, as I said, in my class there, there was only girls except for me, so I kind of sucked growing up, but when he, when he came into my life, he turned Turned it around and made it awesome. <laughs> oh my god, it sounds so freaking gay, but <laughs> it, it totally isn't, I promise. It totally is not gay uh, in any way. <laughs> Uh, but sadly, me and Mike uh, that does not hang out anymore, as I said, because he was, he was, as we call it in Sweden, a toffel, and he moved uh, together with his girlfriend uh, south to in Sweden. So, I think we hang out maybe two or three times a year, uh, get drunk and have a good time. Sadly, or not sadly, but sadly, it's not more than that, rather, because uh, as I said, once when when I was in high school and stuff with that, we got drunk every fucking weekend together almost and had just a fucking blast. Oh god, it was great. Life was great back then. <laughs> it's great now too. I mean, I make my fucking living from making videos about. Whoa, Iron Ingot, son of a slut bag. That's nice. And, ooh, no, 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 I don't think so. Not two times in one video, son of a bitch. Heard your fucking footsteps, you sneaky little bastard. Gonna kill your friend over here as well. But uh, this is gonna definitely be it for this video, because I do not have time to make it any longer. But as usual, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I shall sacrifice a cow for you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>